Hello, everybody. My name is Caesar Flickerman, and with me tonight is Blue Dark Heavens B. <laughs> Not this. Hello, <laughs> we are here, and we are so being excited for <laughs> the first live night in Big Brother Hometown's history. Tonight, we will be sadly seeing either Carly or um, <laughs> God, Crystal leave in the first uh, part of our double eviction. And then we will be running a full double eviction round like they do on the show Big Brother, meaning that we will crown an HOH, we will compete in the veto, and we will have a second eviction tonight, all live, all in the next 90 minutes. And we're so excited. Great. We haven't heard from you a lot this season. How the heck are you? I'm good. You know, I'm, I, I, I couldn't be better. I couldn't be better. I'm so thrilled to be here tonight with my BBH family celebrating someone's demise in this game. Um, you know, I love to see people voted out of this game and I love to see two people voted out in one night. <laughs> I'm thrilled. It's going to be a really, really fun time. This is, oh, and while we're um, here, uh, some of the other production members will be jumping in um, from time to time during the dead air. Yes. Do you think that, okay, so let's say Carly goes tonight. Do you think that it is in Sparks and Susie's best interest to win this HOH? Oh, absolutely. I think, I think because of the house meeting today. Yeah. And Chris Stoner, after being MIA, like we talked about last night, for three days in a row now, shows up, is furious for some reason that is still a mystery to me. Major, and, like, cracked out energy. Oh, like, very much so. Cracked out. Jumps into the house chat and is like, house meeting, smiley face. And you're like, this is not going to be uh -huh. good. And Ooh. proceeded for about a half hour to openly campaign against Carly to call out the three of them for knowing each other and not telling people to actively try and trash their games. <laughs> and, and that picture was going around, which Lee has been notoriously left out of. <laughs> and I do want to say, I do want to let this out to the viewers that there was talk amongst uh, Carly, Susie and Sparks that tonight they were going to wear the same outfit outfits that they were wearing in that photo for live night. So we'll see if they like actually do that. I iconic. think that is messy. And I think that that is iconic if they do. Yeah. That. Well, I think like at a certain point for them, like Chris was coming for them and all three of them started to defend themselves. Yeah. And to a point that was, it should have been more calculated because yeah, it was messy. Were... Oh my gosh! So, how do we think the votes are? Like, do we think it's going to be a five-four vote tonight? Gosh, I know that in the last, just in the last ten minutes, Carly has pitched Eric and Phil with this like mystery person to like this last-ditch effort to keep their votes on her because she has a chance and I, but I don't think it's going to work. I think people are going to see right through that. I'm expecting a seven to two vote tonight. I have no idea what the vote count is. I'm going to find out live with you guys. Um, but I, I'm expecting a seven two. I think Crystal is so ingrained in the roots of this game. I think she's coming out of this scot-free. She did not campaign that hard at all. Mm -hmm. So she kind of just let, she's like, I'm going to let you make your decision. I'm going to let you do the way you need to do it. I By a vote of, Seven to two, Carly, you've been evicted from the Big Brother Hometown Season 13 house. How unexpected. You know, uh, if I do have some time for my parting words. And Chris, can you hear me? I just want to make sure. I'm I, gonna can hear you, I can hear you, Carly. You know, well, there's that beautiful face of yours. You know, you know, Chris, why are you so obsessed with me? I just want to say, you want to play like Russell Hans? You're going to lose like Russell Hans. But to offer you my good goodbye. I did want to wear my outfit that really launched a thousand conversations. And for you, Chris, I'll even throw in an autographed copy. You send me your address, it's all yours, baby. But uh, I'm excited <laughs> for the game to continue. Um, a lot of you are playing scared. Don't play scared, you came here. You got, you got nominated to play this game. Show it because right now it's looking real sad. Play there. 
If you're in an underdog alliance, it actually needs to view as an underdog, not a majority number voting. So play this game. It's going to be weird watching the sidelines. Don't make me sad that I am not there. Play this game. I will see you later. Bye. Um, then oh! Yes, girl. <laughs> Call them out by name. Oh. Let's go, baby. Oh, I'm obsessed Icon. with you. Icon. Oh. <laughs> Girl, I'm so sad. Oh my sad god, read them for Phil. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh well, uh, what are you gonna do? You played so hard. <laughs> and oh. I love, 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 love you. Um, thank you so much for playing. And you're welcome to hang out here with us and watch as much as you can. I'll get you a link to, yeah. to StreamYard. I'll send it to you so you can watch and you're welcome to give commentary with us. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts to uh, prove, like, give you the tea, girl. Like, I'm so excited. All right, let's talk about live night while Chris gets himself home. Um, and here are the rules for tonight. Um, here is the first thing you need to know. We will be playing a full round of the game, um, a, an HOH, two nominations, a, a veto, an eviction, the whole thing in one night over the next hour. The rules are... The first rule is you are not allowed to communicate unless you are in the communication windows, which we will explain. So after um, and after an HOH competition, um, the HOH and all of you will have 10 minutes to talk amongst yourselves, do whatever you need to do. Um, and that's when you're allowed to talk to each other on Skype or here on, you can talk to each other here on Zoom whenever you want, because we're in a public forum that I don't care. Um, the other rule is that you must always stay on Zoom. Um, that does not mean you have to be on camera. It doesn't mean you have to be unmuted, but you have to be on the Zoom. So if you need to go on mute or off camera to do whatever you got to do, that's great. Um, so those are the main rules. Uh, every every block will have a 10 minute window. So a uh, nomination window, um, a veto, veto meeting will be a 10 minute window in, in its, its entirety. So if the HOH has to make a renom, there will not be an extension. Uh, they will, it will be just like we're on TV um, where the, the veto winner, if they choose to use the veto, will make it. And then the HOH will immediately re make a, a replacement nominee here on the stream. Um, then you'll have 10 minutes to uh, submit your vote. Um, and your vote tonight, you can just send a text message vote in your diary room. Don't need videos right now. That just sounds like a hot mess waiting to happen. Um, and we don't need Phil sending his uh, votes anywhere public again. So um. <laughs> also, also, when you do communicate, use your Skype. Don't use Zoom chat. Um, just yeah. keep all of your communication through Skype um, or like talking on the Zoom. But just like don't use private messages on yeah. the Zoom chat. Thank you. Yeah. But otherwise, any normal means, means of communication that you guys have been doing for the last however many days. So here's what's going to happen is in a moment, I will draw two names and they will face off head to head in the competition. Um, I will ask you guys a trivia question and the trivia question will have a numerical answer. You will write down the answer that you think is the best answer you can come up with. You will hold it up to yourself to signal to me that you are ready. Then you will reveal. Whoever is closest to the correct answer stays alive. The other person is out and will go off camera. So we know that you're out. And the person that survives will pick the next two people to compete. So it's a good old knockout competition. Um, and we'll do that over and over again until uh, we're left with three people left. And then whoever wins that like semifinal match will face the other person in the final for HOH. Make sense? It is not Price is Right rules. It is not Price is Right rules. It is just the closest, high or low. Uh, I am notoriously bad at math on live stream. Let's just clarify this. I'm we will help him. <laughs> Great. All right. First two. Whoa. First two people that are competing. I promise I only lost one ship there and I put it back. Are going to be Sparks and Chris Stoner. So Sparks and Stoner. How appropriate. <laughs> you get, uh, The two of you can unmute because we want to hear your lovely voices during this. All right. Here we go. Question number one. Sparks, you'll write down your answer. Chris, you'll obviously send your answer in your diary room chat. No using the internet. Obviously, we uh, have, you know, have some integrity, but we can also watch you. We'll give you about 15 seconds to give us an answer. So that's not a lot of time. So here we go. Question number one. What year did the first episode of the Brady Bunch air? All right. Show it to me. Uh, Spark says 1977. Chris Stoner says 2001. Uh, the correct answer is 1969. Sparks, you stay alive. Chris, you're out. Go ahead and go off cam. 
And Sparks, go ahead and unmute and tell us who's going to compete next. Yeah, uh, just due to allegedly this is how we want to play it, I'm going to have to put up uh, Tay and Erica. Tay and Erica, question number two. How many total squares are there on a chess board? All right, let's see them. You both said 64. <laughs> um, and it doesn't matter because you both said the same thing. So we're going to go on to the next question. The correct answer is 69. Oh, no, wait. The correct answer is 64. I'm sorry. <laughs> the correct answer is 64. So good job. Um, all right. Question number three. So say, stays to you guys. How many recorded songs did Michael Jackson have? All right. Let's see it. Tay says 127. Uh, Erica says 28. The correct answer is 132. Taylor is correct. Erica, you are out. Go ahead and go off cam. And Taylor is up to you to pick two more people. Reminder, please don't communicate in your Skypes unless we tell you you can. Yes. All communication is happening here. If we're... Um, let's do Eric and Phil. Eric and Phil. Question number four. What year did the Cold War end? Uh, uh, Eric, you good? All right, let's see. Uh, Phil says 1989. Eric Taylor says 1991. One of you got it right on the nose, and it's Phil. It's 1989. All right, Phil. Um, uh, Eric, go ahead and go off camera. Tay and Jamie. Taylor and Jamie, you guys are up. Question number five. Oh, people who went can go again? Yes, again. Oh, I didn't uh, know. Question number five, how many words are in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? The book, not the title. How many words are in the book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Go ahead. Yep. Um, Jamie says 14,000. Uh, Taylor says 28,301. The correct answer is 76,944. Taylor, once again, is correct. Jamie, go ahead and go off camera. And Taylor, you get to pick two more people. Oh, fun. Let's do Sparks and Phil. Sparks and Phil. Question number six. How many total countries are there in Africa? All right, let's see them. Sparks says 43. Phil says 25. The correct answer is 54. Jacob Sparks, you stay alive. Phil, go ahead and go off cam. And Sparks, uh, pick your poison. Uh, I'm just going to have to go with Tay and Christian. Sorry. Tay and Christian. Question number seven, how many total games take place during a regular NBA seasons, not season, not including playoff games. So not, let me clarify this question. How many total games happen? Not how many games does an individual team play? How many total games happen in an NBA regular season? All right, let's see him. Uh, Christian says 190. Taylor says 172. The correct answer is 1,230. Christian stays alive. Um, <laughs> each team plays 81 games. Each team plays 81 games. So you multiply that by 30. 81 by games two. per team? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely not. All right. Absolutely uh, not. Taylor, go ahead and go off cam. And uh, Christian, uh, pick two of the three. Um, Susie and Sparks. Susie and Sparks. Here's the question. In U.S. dollars, what is Elon Musk's net worth? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being loud. I'm being loud. <laughs> Let's see him. Susan Jacob. Jesus Christ. Um, Jacob, can you tell me your answer? <laughs> like yeah, hers is 110 billion. Mine's 18 billion. Yours is 18 billion. The correct answer is... 173 billion. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, so who didn't you get it? No, no, Susie she had 110. 110 billion. Oh, she said 110 billion. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, you're right. All right, Susie stays alive. You can only pick Crystal and Christian, so you will face off whoever is uh, whoever wins of those two. All right, Crystal, Crystal, and Christian. In minutes, what was the runtime of Avengers Endgame? Oh, you're really gonna do this to me, Josh. <laughs> Jamie, don't make me mute you. <laughs> Wait, how many minutes it was it? Yes. All right, let's see him. 
179 to 140. The correct answer is 182. So Crystal is right pretty much on the nose. So it's Crystal versus Susie. One of you is about to be the head of household. And the correct and the, and the final question is, what? speaking of trivia, this has to end on this question. Oh, no. What year was Alex Trebek born? Oh, good luck, Crystal. I'm surprised Jamie's not mad because Alex. I know he's from my hometown, but you told me to shut up. So I'm trying not to talk. He's from your hometown. Sorry. He's from the town I live in now. And he went to my university. So I'm feeling very pointed with these questions. I'm sorry. What was the question? What What year was Alex Trebek born? Yes. I apologize to this man. All right. Let's see it. No. What'd you say? 1948. You both said 1948. Get out of here. Okay. I, What's the answer I, though? The correct answer was 1940. So I'm going to have to give me a moment because I, I planned for one tie. Maybe this has never happened. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's, that's funny. Um, all right, Random what, guessing. I, I have the question. In what year was the first model of the iPhone released? Chris says 2007. What did you say? You said 2008. 2008. One of you is right. The correct answer, 2007. Congratulations, Crystal. You're the head of household. All right. Congratulations, Crystal. All right, you guys have. Uh, we almost said 2006. You guys would have had to come up with another question. <laughs> You're right. I, I was ready. We had more. All right. Uh, you guys are going to have 10 minutes on Max's watch, which starts when he says so um, to do whatever you need to do. And we'll be back here. Crystal will give her nominations here live on the stream. So pay attention to both the house chat and the Zoom chat because I'll just like post like no more communication when the 10 minutes is up. I'll give you warnings as well as we go through um, the time. Okay. Your 10 minutes to communicate however you want except for using the Zoom chat in private message. Starts now. Crystal won the HOA. Yeah. Yes. Crystal. Oh, from the block. So okay, what, the will you, what will she do, Carly? I mean, you heard her say it, and I've heard her yeah. say it. She's gunning for Chris and Anna. She is pissed that Anna, um, she is so pissed that Anna would jeopardize the, the alliance of yep. the underdogs. I think Anna is definitely a lock for the block here. This is exactly what Anna feared. I think it's a good thing to put Anna up because that's like a gimme. You know, like that's like you're not getting any extra blood on your hands. Put uh -huh. Anna up because it's a gimme and then put Chris up because of the sign yeah. he put today. All right, so they have now been given 10 minutes to strategize. Um, and Crystal is going to make her nominations. I, Gray and I have access to the chats to see what is gonna happen. She immediately jumps on her call with number her number one, um, uh, Christian, and uh, we are gonna get that tea <laughs> as soon as that happens. Um, Pietro Christian, said, Christian said, please don't nom me. <laughs> Pietro says pray for Anna uh, Dan yeah. also is jumping in to say Carly for second chances I agree oh. what's your question Michael hey Max based on conversations that have already um, happened kind of leading up into today um, I expect to see Chris Stoner and Anna on the block that's what we were just talking about just saying that, yep. yeah and and it was actually we were just trying to decide Carl maybe you can give us a better answer if what would have happened if Susie had won because we were actually theorizing that would have been very similar set of potentially similar set of nominations yeah kind of I think Carly knows I mean I think the last kind of hour really enlightened stuff I think coming in probably an hour before probably would have been Chris Stoner and Tay with Chris Stoner being the target a possibility backdoor of Jamie if need be but because Erica kind of was a little iffy about her vote and people were okay people so were I'm keeping my eye on the Crystal Christian chat. She said, she already said, I know what I'm doing. She's doing Anna and Chris. So yep. Anna and Chris will be seeing the block. 
Um, I think this is really going to open up the game. We were talking a lot last night about how if Chris goes at the live night tonight, he is kind of the linchpin of the other side of the house. You take him out of the equation, you remove him from the Potheads Alliance, which is Anna and Tay and Stoner. You remove him from the Cutthroat Alliance, which is Erica and Jamie. You remove him from the Rebellion, which is those two alliances combined. And Carla just like scattered. sipping all the tea right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that is going to really um, remove kind of the center of that side of things. And mm -hmm. they're going to scatter like bugs. And the way that um, Susie and Sparks and Phil and Eric are going to benefit from that is going to be astronomical for their game. The way that they have played the last 24 hours has been absolutely phenomenal. We are, so, I'm like so impressed with them. Carly, you as well included in that. Like absolutely. you guys really, you guys really made a push. And we were talking earlier before you were ultimately evicted. 99 times out of 100, this works. And you guys, you, you stay. All right, we need everyone to go ahead and mute, except for Crystal, who can come on cam and make her nominations. Sure, everybody, that was a lot. Um, I nominate Anna and Stoner. All right, sounds good. So Anna and Stoner, you guys are on the block. I'm going to get the veto chips ready, you guys. Hang tight. Eric, get your stuff together. Get ready for uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> Got the chips ready to go. I, I promise there is more names than Eric in here. <laughs> I swear to God. But they're regular if you pull Eric right now. First just, chip. So just a reminder that the um, <laughs> communication window is over. So please yes. don't um, talk in your chat. Thank you, Kate Powell. Uh, first name. Ooh, Erica. Oh. Erica. <laughs> and Christian. And <laughs> I swear to God. Susie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's only right. now. It's only now that we call it the rigged chips that Eric is. <laughs> All right. So if you're not one of those people playing in the power of veto, go ahead and go off cam and hang out. You guys stay here. No communication with each other. Um, the six people playing. This is where you're going to need any amount of your um, uh, any of the materials you needed. You're going to need the ability to potentially share your screen. Uh, a lot of things. A lot of moving parts in this power of veto. Here is how it works. This competition is called Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. And here's how it's going to work. I am going to, uh, Carl actually uh, has a wheel that has five competitions on it. We're going to spin it. And whichever one it is, is going to be the competition for that round. What is it's going to happen is we're going to present you the competition, whatever it may be. And everyone is going to secretly bet. So you're going to need paper and pencil again. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Everyone is going to bet how fast they believe they can complete that task. So you're going to bet the number you think that you can do it in. Then we'll show whoever puts the lowest number then has to do it in that amount of time. If they do it, they're safe. And whoever placed, put the highest bet would be out. If they bet the lowest and, and do not complete it and do not complete it uh, or, and do complete it. Oh, wait, sorry. And do not complete it. Then they're out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's all I care about. Is that Yeah. What is spoons? All right, we're starting with numbers. Um, Carl, you give the wording of this one because you had it down pat and I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah, no, you're good. All righty, let me just pull up the chat, make sure I read it as I've typed it out. All righty, <laughs> so here is your task. And hands up, no Googling, please God. There are 15, one five. So there are 15 prime numbers between zero and 50. How fast can you name all 15 in order with making zero mistakes? I'll repeat that one more time. There are 15 prime numbers between zero and 50. How fast can you name all 15 in order with making zero mistakes? Um, Stoner said a minute 46. Susie said five minutes. Kristen said five Thank minutes. You. Crystal said 39 seconds. I'll keep it up. Keep it up for me for a second, please. Uh, Anna, I can't tell what your number is. Lower it. Lower Anna. Lower Anna. 
put it in front. Three Lana, minutes. is that a blank page? Oh, that's one minute. Person. One minute. This looks and like it's Erica personal. says three minutes. Okay, so we do have a tie for the highest amount. I did not say this in the rules. Um, if Crystal is is the one, she said thirty nine seconds. If she is able to complete it, um, either Susie or Christian will be eliminated at random, as you both tied for the most amount, highest amount. That will work the same on the lower end. If if two people say the same lowest time, we will uh, randomize who actually has to do it. Okay, all right. Ready, set, yeah. go. One, two, three. That's three. incorrect. I'm sorry. One is not a prime was number. It? Was one not a prime? Wait, one's not prime? No. <laughs> all right, solo cups. Uh, so you're going to need your solo cups, obviously, here. Um, the, the task is to complete a, a three, two, one pyramid using only your elbows. Okay. Uh, Stoner 112, Christian 130. I think Susie says 40. Anna says three minutes. Erica says yeah. 58 seconds. Do I have that right, Susie? It's, it's Susie. 45, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Susie. So it is Susie. So if Susie gets it, then Anna is out. And if uh, Susie does not get it, then, then Susie is out. Okay. Start. Done. 32 seconds. Well, well bam. Left. You could have said like 10 <laughs> seconds. You would have uh, crushed that. I was right. anticipating them sticking together when I took them off the stack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anna, that uh, eliminates you from this power reader competition. So you can go ahead and go off cam. And we can go back to the wheel. And now we don't have to worry about the screen share debacle. No, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. See, it, just fine. I, I hate it here. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Josh was talking about Anna not being able to yeah, share Anna her screen. Yeah, Anna not being able to share her screen, not you. Timing, okay. Here's how this works. Uh, you will need your blindfold for this one. Um, and you will need to be able to share your screen. So don't go ahead and blindfold yourselves yet, because obviously. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to send you a link to a timer. Uh, the timer is, uh, is activated, it looks like a stopwatch, activated by the click of a space bar. Is that correct? Activated by click of a space bar. Um, you will blindfold yourself, share your screen, and you are, you're going to bet how many seconds within 47 seconds you can start and stop the timer. Does that make sense? So you will we're start- We're guessing like what our benefit, like yeah. if we say 10 seconds, we're saying that we'll stop it. 57 or 37, 37 right. 10 right. seconds in between. Okay. Yeah, your aim is to get as close to 40 se 47 seconds as possible and you're betting your over under differential. Let's see yeah. your numbers, please. Susie so says five minutes. Five Erica seconds. says five seconds. <laughs> oh, five I'm minutes, so, I was yeah. like five minutes, that <laughs> sounds really bad. Erica says three seconds. That is the smallest one. And yeah. Chris Stoner at 22 seconds is the highest. So Eric, Erica is going to do it. Um, Chris Stoner is potentially up for elimination if Erica is able to complete it. Oh. A little quick. Jesus. <laughs> that was bad. All right, Erica, that sorry. eliminates you from the power veto competition. Uh. You can unshare and then uh, go off cam. All righty. Well, and I was <laughs> overshooting it. I could see your head nodding a little quick. And right. it early like, at 44 because I thought that I had nodded too <laughs> slow. All right, spoons. <laughs> You'll need um, your two spoons and your coffee mug. For this one, classic game of spoon frog. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, I, I Susie chill. <laughs> I'm coming with the rules. <laughs> um, you will use your two spoons. I, I should have brought my two spoons, but I'm really bad at this notoriously. Um, the objective is you will use the two spoons to catapult, use one spoon to catapult the other spoon into the coffee mug. Um, and the objective here is you'll be betting how fast you believe you can do five spoon frogs with it. Christian says a minute. Uh, Susie says three minutes. I have no idea what Stoner said. Is it 327? 327. Of okay, so uh, it will be Christian attempting it. And uh, if he gets it, then Chris Stoner is eliminated. And if not, then Christian is eliminated. Two, one, start.
One, two, three, four, Five, stop. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Well done, Christian. All yes. right, Christona, that eliminates you from the Power Veto competition. You go on. The final competition is how fast do you believe, and you will have to share your screen for this one. Yeah. Like literally I'm shaking. How fast do you think that you can do a four by four Sudoku puzzle? Wagers here. Susie okay. says, uh, 45 seconds. What is that, 46 seconds? 45, 45 seconds. What's funny is I was going to write 45. Says, LOL. Okay. Please, I'm finished. <laughs> I was like, what? Do I go back? You're good. It's correct. Okay. Congratulations, Christian. Christian, you have Woo! won the power of Vita. Go ahead and unshare, unshare your screen. How do, oh, there we go. I did it already. I'm doing. Um, Girl, just, heart. I'm just, I, just for rules clarification. No, in every every situation tonight, when there's a 10 minute window, we will use all 10 minutes regardless of what. So, um, uh, Max, go ahead and tell them when their 10 minutes begins, and they can get to work. Yep. Uh, so 10 minutes to discuss. Again, don't use private chat in the Zoom. Use your Skype, and your time to discuss starts now. Oh, Crystal and Christian are calling. Let's. Y'all can do that. <laughs> Crystal, do you want, Chris, Christian, do you want me to keep the noms the same? Crystal, yes, please. So the noms should be staying the same here. They're trying to get Chris out. Christian saying, I know you're upset. I'm not trying to push you. Do you really think getting Chris out is the smartest thing? Because I know you're upset at him. Do you think keeping him is a bad idea? Crystal said yes. <laughs> Not that. Josh, Josh the wall yeller. <laughs> Carly, how are you processing at the moment, other than being here with us? Woo! You know what? This is my first org ever. I've only done minis. It's been a cool introduction. I think, wow, what a time commitment. Mm. I am way. I think I really did not anticipate it. So part of me is like, cool, I can actually get my work done. I, I hope yeah. I'm fired. But uh, no, but it was good. It was a, such a good experience. You guys put together an awesome game. Thank you. I see that um, Erica and Jamie are on call. I wonder if they're trying to see if they can save Stoner. It's going to oh, be cool. a very close vote. There's eight voters tonight. I actually, I'm actually I'm manifesting that there will be a tie. I think it will be 4-4. Four, four. I think it will be... Um, it will be Susie, Sparks, Phil, and Eric to vote out Stoner, and I believe the other four will vote out Anna. All right, um, all is good. Christian, as the winner of the Power of Veto, you have a decision of whether or not you'd like to use the Power of Veto. I have decided to not use the Power of Veto. All right, um, with that being said, Anna or Chris will be evicted next. That means your campaign will last 10 minutes and it's on the clock as of Max Teddy's right now. Can we, can we play a game of code names for my campaigning? It's your campaign. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to set it up real quick if anyone wants to hop on. Votes are in. Let's yeah. swim, Stony. Everyone here. I think everyone's here. All right. Once I reveal the vote, the video house goes up just a few moments to say their goodbyes and head on out. By a vote of eight to zero. Chris Stoner, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house, and you are the first member of the jury. Ooh, I'm alive! Nice one, Stoney! Good job. Honestly, I'm not even sad. Congratulations. Um, congrats, Stoner, for making jury. Thank you, thank you. Congrats. Um, Y'all, I, I seriously, this, these last two days, these last two weeks, really, have been crazy for me because I've just been kind of going ham. I've really got nothing but respect and love for every single one of you guys. This game is very hard to play. This game is very hard to manage. 
And it's a tough game emotionally, strategically, um, socially. And it's hard to balance it all. And you guys are doing a phenomenal job doing it. Production, you're doing a phenomenal job hosting. I, I got to say, this has been one of my favorite production teams in a very long time. Um, I'm just very glad to have gotten the experience. Um, I hope I can become friends with all of you guys outside this game. Maybe me, Jacob, and Susie can get a picture together. I like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, where's Carly in this narrative? But now Carly's gone. Carly's uh, gone because she's not in the game anymore. She can't be in the picture. Right? But, oh, man. Um, yeah. I'm, Carly um, is watching. But you I'm, do I'm, have I'm, to wear I, that dress. I, I love Carly. That's Carly, the yeah. only... Carly can come too. But yeah. Nothing but love. I hope you guys keep playing hard. Congratulations on Final 10. Congratulations on the jury. That is a huge accomplishment. Everyone should be proud of the game they've played so far and the game that I hope you guys all continue to play. And I'll see you guys in two weeks. Much love, baby. Chris going out with a lot of class here, saying, <laughs> saying that he wishes everybody the best and he wants everybody to play hard and he'll see them at finale night. I mean, Chris is a... Chris is a mess of a person and a player, but he is a good person at heart, and and he's he loves to play hard, and that's what we gotta and say. I am, I'm so glad we had him in this season. Absolutely, and I think what the cast doesn't understand is that this man has been very. I mean, this man during his two off days last week created the rebellion, created this uprising that um, ultimately takes Carly as the only victim of the rebellion <laughs> as it ultimately falls this round. Um, his next two off days, you guessed it, are tomorrow and Tuesday. If they had let this man get through tonight, he was going to go back to work for 40, 48 straight hours, and who knows what comes of the house and what comes of the game. So the house really gets rid of him because of his behavior today, um, but they really spared themselves because who knows what Stony Baloney, Coloni, Cannoli <laughs> would have done in this house for the next 48 hours. So, you know. They lucked out and a big sigh of relief for the whole house as kind of this really roller coaster of a 48 hours comes to a close. Kind of poetic, kind of poetically yeah. with 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 Chris Stoner, the one who kind of orchestrated this whole rebellion, kind of going out because of it. And we hit the jury and the house I think is very happy. <laughs> I think I think this I think this is a great catharsis for people. After a really emotional 48 hours, I think this is great they catharsis. Up. They need to relax. This has been surviving a live night is a euphoric feeling. Um, it's it's like I, I feel like you can you feel like you can conquer the world. And um, I'm this has been really, really fun. And that's it. We are out that was so fun carly thank you so much yes. for hanging out with us thank you tonight yeah. really again great gameplay the last 24 hours you oh are God. certainly a victim of circumstance and you played so hard you played so well so good job thank we're you so thank Yes, we're so glad to have you as part of the Big Brother Hometowns family now. So next yeah. next season, you can get on here and read all these bitches with us. Oh, so. it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for watching, for being uh, you know one of our people that was in the thing. And thank you again for checking on that question for us for the advantage and the HOH. Um, Josh is back. Let's see if he has any final thoughts. Hi, Josh. Um, that was awesome. A great, a, oh my God, we a did wonderful it. live night. Um, a lot of fun. Not, not the most surprising twisty turny in terms of the game. Things kind of went straight forward, but, um, I think everyone, thanks everyone for watching. I think it was a really successful night. It seems to be it had high viewership throughout the whole night. Abby's here. That's a win. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the veto was really fun to watch. Oh, was it? I, thought, I think it was a great veto. I, yeah. I really think that as a new comp was really great. I agree. Carly, we predicted preseason, they probably already said this, that you would have the Lee Farrell arc. And well, here you are. Here we are. In the exact <laughs> spot. Um, yeah. yeah, please don't watch. Who's, who's the other video was it where I commented on it? And there, when I think you asked, like, what do we expect for this round? I'm like, Carly probably going home. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just see it. I just think it's so just going to happen. Manifested it. Yeah. <laughs> There were so many times where Carly, we thought, okay, is there a world where Carly, Susie, and Sparks all get out of this alive? And as Anna went down, okay, nominating Sparks, nominating Phil, nominating Eric, nominating Christian, and then finally landed on Crystal, which 
in a sense was the right move to make sure you went home. Um, yeah. But I mean, there was points in the last 24 hours where we still didn't know, but we kind of had a feeling that ultimately oh, it would yeah. land this way, but oh yeah, I hope you had fun. <laughs> I did a lot of emotions. I hope you enjoyed the, the videos and my emotional arc of uh, two nights ago. I think the TikTok was good. <laughs> That was such that good was, content. That was real good, real good. <laughs> the Alliance Pyramid, iconic. Um, real great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. And I think I'm on top of Maddie. What? Maddie, always, always. Mm. And you know what? <laughs> this last round, well, Susie. Mm. Yeah. She had a meteoric rise in your rankings. <laughs> <laughs> so it did. And who was right next in line? My man, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Sony Coloni. All right, I'm. I have to go because my in-laws are here, and I've left yeah. them for an hour and a half. And we should start this for about two hours. Yeah, here. we're gonna end this out. Thank you to Carly for joining us. Thank you to yes. everybody for watching the first live night of Big Brother Hometown's history. We did that, oh, y'all. Oh, oh, breaking oh. news! Breaking news! I have just checked the stream. The veto is correct. Christian is the rightful winner. I don't oh, know what's good. going on with the website. We're all good. Yeah. No worries, but yes. perfect. Last perfect. breaking news. Right. <laughs> All right, we didn't we didn't screw it up. All right, yeah. bye everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hope you enjoyed bye, it. Everyone.